automatic i can do it i am the guy i'll keep it fluid i'm gonna mix y'all shit that was a robot that is automation in music let's talk about it Automation is 2020, it's 2021, it's everything. It's in marketing, it's in everything you watch on Facebook, Instagram, it's ads, it's ad spend, it's retargeting ads, it's it's business all around the world, and it's found its way into music production. Now, how do we utilize this for music production? There are just some tips I wanted to give you guys for this tip of the day, and I think that they're really, really important. They're so important, I actually wrote them down on my phone. So, here's number one. Use the tools that you have at your disposal for automation within music production. Um, a lot of people are using things like Splice. I think Splice is awesome for automation, right? You can find things. Uh, it's going to organize the samples. It'll organize the, the drum kits, the melody loops, etc. You can search things. You can find them. And then you can also, like once you find a sound you're looking for, you can search for things that are um, similar to that, right? This may not feel like automation, but it's still automating your process as a producer. So use it, right? Another thing, Isotope. Isotope is kind of cutting edge when it comes to automation right they're using uh, AI and machine learning so they have fed their softwares like the top mixes the top masters in the world and kind of like found curves through machine learning and then their process uses AI to then mix master use different settings and you know EQ compress reverb all that stuff so there's a few that I would recommend I really think that neutron is really cool um, that plugin we use all the time. We use it in our mixing uh, and mastering for vocals. Like we might start something with that just to see what the machine's going to do, right? And then we tweak from there and use whatever pro, uh, you know plugins or outboard that we want to use to color the way we'd like to color it. Uh, another thing Isotope uses is Nectar. I think that's really cool. They just updated it to Nectar 3 Pro. So now it has like, you know, all this really great stuff built in for vocals. So it'll uh, demask and unmask from other frequencies and other things that are going on so if you have background vocals and you want the, the other vocal to stand out your lead vocal to come out a little forward and then your backgrounds to sit in the back and spread a little wider etc it'll do that for you and it uses ai and machine learning for that as well now a couple other things that i recommend lander is cool um, I don't usually, I wouldn't recommend Lander for like your final master if you're like going to be going and distributing, which a lot of people do. I would recommend that if you have a really, really, really strong mix that you use Lander to send out demos and stuff, right? So you're wanting another collab producer, you want to share it with someone, hit Lander and let it master it for you, right? Um, that's a really good way to automate your process. I think Rev.com, this is a really cool thing we use for our captions actually for these videos, um, and it'll actually just take what I'm saying right now and it'll automate the process of scripting that out for you, adding captions. So you can do this with your lyrics. And a lot of the times people want lead sheets, what we call lead sheets in the music industry, which will give the melody, you know, in notation and also the lyrics under the melodies, right? So those are really important when you're working on music for TV, film, commercials, things like that. They're going to want those lead sheets. Okay. So rev.com, that's a great one. Uh, and then Google Translate. Like you want to sing something in English, but then you want to translate it to Spanish or vice versa. Portuguese. I got to drop the Portuguese for my homie Will Martins, you know. So that's a great, great, great thing to use for automation. It'll translate all your lyrics. It'll pop it in different, you know, uh, different languages. And you can post those all over in different blogs, like from uh, Spain to, to Brazil to, you know, wherever, France, Mars wherever you want to go. And then other ways to automate your process as a producer, mixing, mastering that don't have to do with actual like machine learning and AI and all that stuff is, and stuff that I use all the time is use melody loops from other producers, right? Other producers love to collab by sending melody loops and you guys can collab, you can grab a loop and you can, you can automate your process a lot quicker that way. So you're not spending hours creating melodies and, you know, trying to make them sound sampled with, you know, different plugins and stuff. You just grab something that's already done and then add the 808 and the drums or add your bass lines, add your lyrics, whatever, right? Start writing to it. Um, that's a really great way to do it. I mentioned splice that works great. And then mix while you go. This is like a really big key thing that I always do, especially when I'm working on music for commercials, sync licensing music, etc. Like you have to move fast, right? So as I'm going, I have templates set up. I have EQs and uh, vocal chains and all that. I mean, we sell my logic preset pack 
packs with channel strips and Pro Tools pack with channel strips where I'm just opening up my preset channel strips, right? So it's gonna have EQ compression. It's gonna have starting points for my vocals, for my bass, my 808, my kick drum, my parallel kick drum uh, processing, my buses, where all my drums are going to, where all my vocals are going to. Why would I wanna make that chain every time I open up a new session? Why would I wanna make that from scratch? So automate that process, have templates, have channel strips in, in place and grab mine for 20 bucks. It'll save you a ton of time, right? And you can open up my channel strips and go, okay, this is a keyboard. I wanna pop this keyboard preset on there, make it fit in the mix a little bit better. Just mix as you go. And another thing, stay in one DAW, right? Like if you can produce, record, write, mix, master, finish in Logic Pro or in Pro Tools or in FL Studio, do it there. Stop trying to bounce from all these different DAW. Oh, well, I got to mix and master in Pro Tools. I got to I gotta make beats in FL Studio and then I got to compose in Logic. Shut up. You're wasting so much time. Like figure out your DAW and master it. That's a really important aspect to, to getting the, the automation down for your music. Uh, and then last thing I would say, last big tip here, uh, have someone else be responsible for the steps. Like maybe you're really great at, at making beats or you're really great at... Uh, making arrangements, writing lyrics, whatever it might be. Have someone else mix and master your records. Have someone else do just the mixing. Have someone else just do just the mastering. Have someone else just, uh, you know, go and produce for you, right? So you got an idea, then you send it to them. They produce it up. They send the record back. You guys go back and forth. You can give the notes instead of being so involved in the process. And a lot of times you'll find out that the music comes out a lot better when you have people dedicated to the steps. I mean, this is literally how McDonald's works. It's how most businesses work and it's off automation, right? And that's gonna scale your business. It's gonna make you work more efficiently and effectively, get more music done and have more opportunities out there. So if you guys love this video, please smash the like button, follow the channel, and uh, don't forget, we have mixing, mastering, master classes right here in the description. You can pick up any of these. We talk about how to use Neutron and Nectar. We even give Nectar presets and Isotope stuff to show you how to really make your uh, mixes stand out for your vocals, for beat mixing. We got a vocal mixing tutorial, and we got an advanced mixing tutorial for vocals. So if you haven't already picked those up, and also pick up the Logic Pack, the Pro Tools Pack. They're like 20 bucks. They're gonna save you a ton of time. But happy producing. Go automate the processes that are boring and that you don't need to be spending hours on. Thanks for tuning in. This is the tip of the day almost every day.